little something we here at the program like to call if they made it. <laughs> Explain. For the uninitiated, here's how it works. We have an amazing machine that we stole from NASA years ago. It takes celebrity couples that are dating and it predicts what their child would look like if they had a child. It has, I think, launched over 1,500 lawsuits against this program. <laughs> but we're going to do it again tonight, starting with a couple. Apparently, these two were going out. Everyone's talking about it. Daryl, Hannah, and David Spade are an item right now. Yeah. There's, there's all the air leaking out of David Spade, deflating slowly. He looks, uh, he looks confused. Anyway, Daryl, Hannah, and David Spade, let's take a look at what would happen if these two had a child. And just why? 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 Oh, why? Oh, no. It will live with John Tesh at the bottom of the sea. All right, this is a strange couple, I thought. Heidi Klum recently got separated. Now she's with, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Anthony Kiedis. These two are actually uh, going out. So the supermodel is on the left, by the way. <laughs> Anthony Kiedis is on the right, looking very pretty and evil. Let's take a look at what would happen if these two had a child. I'm just, why? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's untrustworthy. That's what I, I don't trust that as far as I can throw it. All right. This one has been confirmed by three tabloids, the one I'm about to tell you about. Three tabloids. And if three tabloids say it's true, it must be true. Mariah Carey is seeing Vin Diesel. Apparently, there he is, fresh from the barber, uh, <laughs> unhappy about things. Let's take a look at what happened if these two had a child. I'm just curious. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Wow. It's kind of like if Gallagher were a boxer. That's what it looks like to me. Got his nose broken about 900 times and lost all his props. Uh, Demi Moore, apparently going out with Tobey Maguire. These two, have, this is according to a tabloid, so it may not be as reliable as the one that had three ta tabloids, but Demi Moore, Tobey Maguire, that looks like his first communion photo. Uh, let's take a look at what would happen if they had a child. I just want to know, oh. Wait a minute. That's not so bad. Not so bad at all. I would date her. Uh, okay, now this one, apparently, uh, this is, I've heard this everywhere. You've probably heard this one too. Britney Spears and Fred Durst. Seriously, I'll take your silence to mean you haven't heard about this. Britney Spears and Fred Durst, I guess he's producing her album. They, they say that they've started to go out. It may not be true, but if it is true, let's see what would happen if they got it all. How about, why? Oh. I guess her hat had the dominant gene. The leather hat beats the baseball cap every time in evolution. We're so stupid here. Now, some people say that's not true, that Britney Spears really has reformed her, uh, her alliance with Justin Timberlake, that these two are together again. So uh, we should find out what would happen if these two had a child. Let's see right now. I'm just curious. If, yeah, that's just... That's just stupid. That's dumb. That one's really stupid. <laughs> John Cusack and Meg Ryan. That's an unlikely couple. Max, do you agree with me? That's kind of a strange couple. Yeah, I, think so. I didn't think these two would hook up. Okay. <laughs> you didn't have to cut to him. We could have... He just said, I agree. I was going like this. <laughs> I know. More shots of Max agreeing with Conan. It's good propaganda. John Cusack and Meg Ryan. Let's take a look at what would happen. I just want to know. Please show me. Oh. 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 I don't have a joke for that one. That just made me sad. <laughs> Diane Lane and Josh Brolin have been seen together, and oh my God, look at him. <laughs> he just brought fire back to the cave. <laughs> oh. He'll beat the crap out of me soon. Anyway, Diane Lane and Josh Brolin. Let's see what happened if these two got it on. I just want to see. Oh, oh no. There's a Jay Leno gene in there somewhere, don't you think? There 
is. There's like a strong. Yeah. He's gonna call me up tonight. Yeah, you think talk that way about me. <laughs> As we all know, it'd be bad making a prank call because you'd always know it was Jay. If you're a refrigerator running, you better catch it. Is this Jay Leno? Uh, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> As we all know, President Bush has identified Iraq's leader, Saddam Hussein, and North Korea's Kim Jong-il as... Oh. Hey, we didn't do it yet, come on. <laughs> and we may not do it. Two members of an international axis of evil. It just makes you think, what would happen if in some sick way these two could get it on and have a s super evil baby? Let's see what... Oh. <laughs> all right. When she pops up, it's time to end the bit. <laughs> I, think, I think it's time we take a little commercial break. We have such a good show tonight. When we come back, Dave Chappelle is here. Stick around. <laughs> I'm thirsty. You want something? If you're up. I'm up. What is it? It's okay. David. I'm in the kitchen. Can I get you anything? What do you have? A Coke. That sounds good. Are you sure? Yes, please. Thank you, Cor. Ice? Yes, please. <sighs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Right now, try our new Papa Cinepi, absolutely free when you buy a large one time. All right, everybody, we are back.